Hi, Gabrielle. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Sam? Good. Uh, first off, I just want to say congratulations on the movie. It was great. I loved it. Uh, I want to start off by asking, when I was watching the film, the cast, it felt like an actual family. So I was wondering, was the chemistry with everyone immediate or did it take a little bit of time to actually develop that as the filming process went on? They're pretty, um, I think they're adept as actors at, at getting to a, sort of a natural, authentic place. But I also think that they are much more down to earth, I think, than they, than like, they, you know, they're big, fancy, shiny actors, and but they don't see themselves that way. And I think like in a way that was part of it, they're just really natural around each other. They're very grounded people. And I think, um, and I think that sort of informs how they, they felt like your friends or they felt like people you wanted to hang out with. Um, I think that's just sort of them naturally in a lot of ways. And what was it like actually shooting in the actual town? Did it add another layer of maybe realism or, or kind of just a, a level of, okay, we have to get this right. We have to make sure that, that we live up to this story. I did, you know, I kind of talk about it like, yeah, for me, it was, it was nerve wracking in a lot of ways. Um, I felt like we would, uh, like Nicole's everywhere. Nicole's everywhere in that town. I mean, people would stop Dakota in the street and talk about these iconic red shoes that Nicole would wear. And like, I got stopped when we were on location scouts for people to just sort of pull me aside and tell me like what Nicole meant to them. And so it was just like this beautiful heaviness, you know? about the town, but I think that that, I guess, in some way, you sort of felt like they upheld the story. Like there was like, I call it this big hug, you know, <laughs> was kind of happening during the whole time, sort of like, I don't know, making sure we felt welcome and we felt safe. Um, so it ended up being kind of this magical place to be, to be working in. Now, what was it, what is it that draws you to films like this? Because your previous film, Megan Levy, is also based off of a true story. So what, what draws you to make, want to make these true stories and bring them to the screen? I think, uh, I think part of it is that you naturally know how to tell them. I guess from, um, I think a lot of documentarians feel this way. It's sort of like, we know what real looks like um, because we've just lived in that medium, you know, that like, we sort of are like, you know, that is one tool in the kit, right? Like where we're just like, I know how people are and how they say things. And when they're, you know, a, a line feels like that someone has waited their whole life to say that line, then you just sort of, you know what I mean? Then you're like, well, that's probably scripted. And that's probably kind of not what natural, what people say naturally. That's what, that's aspirational. You know what I mean? That's what you hope you will say one day. And so like, I kind of know instinctively the difference and I think a lot of I think a lot of people do but I guess that's the thing about this story and about things like Megan Levy and everything is that you just you have to make it feel real because if you can't make it feel you can't if people can't find access points into it then you haven't really done your job and so like you know you have to make these people accessible and the story accessible by making it feel as genuine and and as much like what the real thing might have felt like as possible. Now, how are you able to balance the the level of emotion and balance the comedy aspect to make it, okay, we want some levity here, but also at the same time, we want to drive home this deep emotional impact of this woman slowly losing her life as the film progresses? Yeah, um, that is one of the hardest things uh, that uh, about a, a film like this. And I think you are, you're sort of you know, damned if you do, you know, damned if you don't. like there are people who are just like, I, I can't even get through it. Um, you know, I was just looking for something happier, like, you know, whatever, like I just, this is, this is so heavy and unbearable in terms of the subject matter. And then there's people who are just, you know, like, you know, they, they're the way they imagine grief and the way they imagine this kind of stuff is really dark and sort of gritty. And so I just tried to do both. I'm sort of like, and I, tried to do and this was brad really in the script as well just trying to kind of find this like threat you're threading a needle constantly you know just like okay 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 you push people too far and now it's almost unbearable we've got to bring them back you've got to bring them back and so it's um it's it, it's a dance you do on the day it's a dance you do an edit and you just want as many people to stick through it and kind of take the roller coaster it's like okay you go up you go up and it's like oh but like the down is going to be great you know what i mean and we promise we'll take care of you. Like we promise you're safe 
in my, in our hands. And right. that's what we try to do. Well, Gabriella, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on the movie. And I hope for the best for it down the road. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sam.